I have decoded the secret to looking younger without trying. If you're like me, I always thought that as we age, everything just goes downhill. I was wrong. This video is not about deceiving people. It's about looking our best at any age. So if you look at our current age, there is a plus minus five year spectrum that we show to the world. If you are 38, you can look 33 or 43 at any given day. Today, I want to show you specific examples and tips on how to dress to show your lowest spectrum age, whatever age that might be for you. I've recently seen this video of a mature woman dressed impeccably comfortable, stylish, without looking substantially young, yet still turning heads. The perfect synchrony of elegance and freshness without overdoing it. I was mesmerized. If we can look this good in mature years, not only that there is hope for the rest of us, but we can actually do something about it and control the age we show on the outside. Everyone wants to look better, more beautiful, fresh. We want to preserve our younger version as much as we can. I'm pretty sure that most of us don't want to look older, right? And so I sought out to find a secret to dressing mature while looking youthful. The mistake women make when reversing the age we show on the outside is that we overdo it. Stop trying to dress like a teenager. The secret is to find a balance between the young and the mature with taste. So instead of dressing exclusively for comfort and adopting the older look, we can instead maintain this transition phase indefinitely where we incorporate both youthful elements and mature elements at the same time. And what better example to analyze than Cindy Crawford? She is successfully balancing out her age with youthful features in harmony. She is 57 years old, yet she can easily pull off looking in her 40s consistently. The first thing that you might notice about Cindy, in addition to her beauty, of course, is how well she carries herself. She has mentioned incorporating a combination of cardio exercises, strength training, and activities like hiking and Pilates into her fitness routine. Why am I mentioning it? Because not enough people talk about this. I think that our weight is a major contributing factor in showing our age. It's not easy for anyone, but at the same time, staying active and fit is a lifestyle. So if you're one of these people that prioritize looking youthful at all costs, cost, investing in personal fitness, practicing a sport that you enjoy can make a visible difference in looking more youthful than your actual age. The second most noticeable element of her youthful aura is the gorgeous hair. Now, while we don't all have her mane, a hair blowout and color maintained with dimensional shades will take you a long way. She obviously has professional help here, but it's fascinating to analyze the shade mix that she chooses. It's in harmony with her skin tone, it's demure, nothing harsh or attention seeking. She does have some highlights well blended in, but she's preserving her natural hair color look that we are all used to seeing from the 90s in a balanced way with a mature touch of light seeping through her strands. I also want to emphasize the importance of a blowout no matter what color or length your hair is. The straightening effect and added volume is the complete opposite of what our natural aging hair looks like. And by putting in the effort, it has a big effect on the overall appearance because hair is highly visible. Next, we will dissect actual young and mature elements in her dressing that she combines very well. She wears a lot of jeans, which are part of a youthful look, but not any jeans, the ones that flatter her. Never oversized or skinny, instead she prefers a fitted look with straight jeans or bootcut length. For the mature part of her outfit, we see the monochromatic camel shoes, which 
show a level of experience and style. She then takes it to the next level by matching the shoes to her belt, another mature factor. Why? Because young women don't learn about this trick or pay attention to it, I certainly didn't consistently, till much later on her styling journey. In the next look, she wears a white collared blouse, her neckline is showing, her collar itself is spread out unusually, this is a youthful feature. The jeans and leather of course are very youthful, but now she incorporates the mature elements. She is matching the shoes, the belt, the purse, all signs of dressing from experience and brings it all together with the pearl earrings. Pearl earrings add understated polish to instantly upsell any outfit. I can't emphasize this enough. If you don't have a pair of simple white, even micro pearl earrings, Put them on your wish list. Now let's see what Cindy wears when dressing sporty. This is the go-to blazer and jeans look done so well. The jacket is the mature element, the sneakers are the youthful element, in complete contrast, aren't they? The colors here matter as they are the same cool tone. The blazer is the combination of black and white and brings symmetry in the overall outfit with the shoes. Anyone can wear sneakers and a blazer, right? Well, Let's take a closer look at her accessories. The dainty necklace. This is a significant mature element that only women with styling experience would know about. When we are young, we like flashy, pretty things and being subtle is not something we appreciate yet. I also noticed that she has an ongoing muted tan, which is pleasing to the eye. It's a youthful effect because later in life, we try to protect ourselves more and hide from the sun, so we are mostly pale. Tan skin always looks good, and the younger crowd tends to focus on it. I know I did in my teens and in 20s, and now I'm covered in SPF, hiding under a hat. <laughs> the V-neck line is another youthful component that I would say is part of her everyday signature style. She has her own skincare product line. She takes great care of her skin. As we get older, our necklines show our age, and the wrinkles in this area are harder to hide under makeup, probably why we don't like it on display. Cindy dresses and wears clothes to feature her best assets, and well, her well-maintained skin is definitely one of them. The rolled up sleeves give a cool chic vibe, add edge and looks young, while the watch she wears is a luxury mature item that adds style and refinement to her overall look. She is the ambassador for the Omega watch, which sells for $3,500. Here is a hoodie leather jacket look, similar to the one before, all sporty and youthful, but she brings it all together making it tasteful and age appropriate with the relaxed fit, not cropped, not boxy, not loose. This is a confident fit. Moving on to something colorful, this fuchsia outfit, the pants are from Victoria Beckham, a high ticket item, well made, mature component. The vibrant color choice is youthful, however, the monochromatic combination is mature because it requires experience to understand the lengthening effect that it creates. The shoulder cutout is youthful, the heels are as well, the relaxed fit, quality watch, and blowout is what makes it mature and elegant. Next, I love this all black look. You would think it's easy to replicate, but most of us fail at it if we don't understand how to balance the features. The leather jacket is youthful, same with the heeled boots, skinny jeans tucked in, very attractive and fresh, and we add the oversized glasses. Other than her hair, this outfit has the most amount of youthful elements not as many mature ones other than the high quality of the brands that she's wearing. Now we notice the Gucci crossbody, but nowadays it's common to see Gen Z wear luxury brands, so we can't really define it as mature any longer. In this white blazer look, we also see the fit playing a major factor in making it age appropriate and elegant style. You don't see many young women wear well-made blazers that actually fit. The balance here is with a 
the visibly youthful edge that she brings in contrast, the neckline, peep toe shoes, and dark nail polish. This next outfit stood out to me because the green coat is such an elegant statement maker. The snake print, jeans, and white tee, classic youthful look. However, the tailoring of the coat, you can tell it's well made. This is something a more mature woman would pick out. The color choice is youthful and trendy without being desperate. It's the subtle balance between making a statement and asking for attention. Saving the best for last, I want you to look at the picture side by side with her daughter Kaya. It's the perfect example to observe the small details that make 50 look youthful without looking 20. Cindy's jacket is cropped versus Kaya's oversized style. Now I think Kaya's jacket is too long for her and it's aging her a little bit here even though Gen Z is all about oversized. But that aside, look at what's underneath. Kaya wears a black crew neck while Cindy wears a v-neck in a neutral shade. Young people don't wear neutral. We haven't discovered their magic till at least our 30s. <laughs> Then we have the baseball cap, which screams teen right there. On Cindy, we also see the dainty necklace, which is another mature fashion choice. Now, when we are young, it's usually either an accent jewelry piece or none at all. Another subtle style tip we don't learn till later on. I'm also noticing the difference in sunglass shades. Cindy wears a brown that matches her hair, while Kaya opts for the classic black. It's not a deal breaker per se, but to me, it's another layer of sophistication that Cindy has learned to master over the years. I hope you found these insights helpful in balancing youthful and mature styling elements. Try applying them to your own personal style regardless of your age. Comment below if you have any other tips that you would like to share with us. For more styling tips, you want to watch my next video here. I'll see you there.